Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Beth Kanaus from That's a Spade Copywriting Services. And here we are, first Monday of 2022. I keep saying, fingers crossed, 2022. <laughs> um, that's going to be my, <laughs> my opening thing. Um, I was thinking that it would be great going into the next year uh, to start on Mondays with some sort of concept for you to think about as you go through the week. So today on the Monday Minutes, I'm not going to say the Monday Minute because it's never going to be a minute, <laughs> um, that I want you to think about how do you want to be chosen? How do you want to be chosen by your clients? We put a lot of content out there, right? Social media, your newsletters, your blogs, your videos. And what we need to really remember is that everybody in our industry, in our field is also doing that. And it's very important to put out your social proof and to show your expertise with tips and resources and freebies and things like that. But everyone in your industry is doing that. And people have to go through a lot of stuff, right? A lot of scrolling, a lot of reading. We know we lose viewers, I think now in, I don't know, three seconds, right? It was seven, now we're down to three because there's just so much information to consume. So you have to ask yourself, what can I say? What can I put out there that is really gonna spotlight my differentiator? Because if everybody in my field is putting out all this general stuff, what can I say that is relatable to my most ideal client that they're going to stop and actually listen to what I have to say or read what I have to say and find it relatable and then connect, right? Because that's ultimately what we want. And if we have an ideal client, we need to not just connect with every client, but to figure out how to connect with our clients. So something I want you to consider is this. If you are going to hire somebody, right, let's, you know, use the trades, for example. So an electrician, a plumber, a landscaper, people that we really value because we know absolutely nothing about what they do, right? We really need them. We're kind of at their mercy and we will ask around. Maybe after we ask two or three people, we might Google and, uh, and look up these businesses. But for the most part, you're going to see the same information, because at the end of the day, the way that we choose that type of service is by price. So I want you to think about when you're choosing by price, what we generally do is we choose the middle ground, right? Most of the time, we're not choosing the really expensive price. I mean, unless we know enough information, have enough details and see enough of a difference in that service, chances are we're not going on the high end. We don't want to go on the low end because we're like, why are they so cheap? You know, are they inexperienced? Is the service just, you know, the bare minimum? We land in the middle. And if you offer a service as an entrepreneur and it's personal, you have to ask yourself, it's like throwing yourself in a lottery to be in the middle, right? You can, people can choose you by price, but there's a lot of people floating in the middle. So the best way really to be chosen is to give some personal experience detail for folks. You want to be able to know where in your experience, in your timeline, I'm talking about your entire timeline, not just your time in, oh, my training for what I do or when I started this business, but all along the way, because it's our experiences and our perspective and, you know, insight that we gained or resilience that we built, um, you know, things that we learned, strengths that we developed along the way. And everybody has them. And the best way really to look at those things, we all have these moments in our lives that stick out to us, you know, whether they were really difficult or maybe they were great achievements. And it's not so much about that experience, right? I'm not suggesting that you overshare about these experiences. What I'm saying is that you take those things you learned from those experiences and that's what you talk about, right? I have this perspective. My philosophy is based in this thing that I learned. Um, and you know, you wanna tell people a little bit more about you personally and why you're different than everybody else. 
Otherwise, people are going to choose you by price instead of what's so unique and original about you. Because we all want to relate to the person we're hiring, right? We all want to have a connection with them, no like, trust, all that stuff. You're going to hand over your money. You're going to hand over a check. You want to feel confident because you connected with that person in some way. And so you have to provide that for your clients too, if you want them, right? You also have to keep in mind that chances are roughly, if you're charging more for a service, they may want to come back a few times and read some more of what you put out there or watch more of your videos or scroll through your social feed to really see what's so different or special or individual about you. And they're going to keep looking before they want to make that investment, right? We know that we have to touch a client a certain amount of time with the information that we put out there before they decide that they're going to sign on with us. So, you know, again, everybody in your field is trying to do that. So when you're doing it, you need to dig a little bit deeper and really think about outside your box of your expertise. What is it about you that really boosts how you work and what the results are with you and the success that you can provide to your clients with the service or product that you're that you're giving to them, that you're suggesting for them, and that they're gonna pay you for. So that's today's Monday Minutes session. Um, I'd love to hear your feedback, any thoughts that you have. Also, if there's any topic that you'd like to hear about in future Monday Minute sessions, leave it in the comments. And uh, thanks for taking the time to listen to what I have to say today.